All right, guys, let's talk. So in today's video, we have like a coffee talk. And then like after our little coffee talk, I have a little short vlog. It's like 10, 15 minutes long. I had to go get my daughter some crickets for her lizard. And I had to do a little shopping and stuff like that. So that'll be towards the end. I just didn't want to put a vlog up that's like only 10 minutes long. So I'll put it in here. If that's something that you're interested in, want to see, you know, like go shopping with me, make sure you watch to the end. So my last vlog, um, like a, I did like a walk and talk and I put like update on my divorce. So in that video, if you have not watched that yet, I will link that video down below in the description box and also a pinned comment. But in that video, towards the end, I talked about what happened one of the elementary schools where I live. So I have a friend named Vernon that I went to school with since I was 14. And he's been cutting my boy's hair for like 20 plus years. Like my oldest son just turned 28 the other day. I cannot believe I have almost a 30 year old son. Like I can't believe it. And then he's been cutting Isaiah's hair since Isaiah was like two or three. And Isaiah is 19. So for a long, long time. So he's like a brother to me. Um, we're very close. He's never tried to talk to me. I've never tried to talk to him. He's not my type. It is just like, like a really good, good friend. He's like family to me, you know. And he has a few kids. His oldest is 29. And then he has his youngest is seven. I know. Uh, and so his two youngest had went to this uh, school, this elementary school. And I'm going to react. I'm going to show you a couple of the news uh, reports that's going on. But I wanted to talk about it because I want to get this mother ever, uh, face plastered and uh, his name and all that out there. So this is a trigger warning if you have a weak stomach or anything like that. But I hope that you can watch this because it really needs to be talked about. And we really, as parents, need to be aware that this does happen. So there's this 25-year-old and he was a janitor at the school. I'm mad even thinking about it right now. And what he did was he got caught. I don't know if he confessed first or what. He admit, he after a while he did admit to it. Remember, this is an elementary school. So what, K through fifth grade? He was going to the cafeteria and where they make the ground beef for like hamburgers and stuff like that. He was putting his own feces in it and then he would take the forks and what have you and go around the toilets and stuff like that and then put it back without washing them or anything and the kids were eating the food using the utensils and of course he got arrested but the parents didn't know about it till a week later it was like a hush hush thing so let's react. There are a few news reports. I'll leave some more links down below, but I want to react to at least one of them so you can see this guy's face and stuff. And then we're going to react to it because let's react to it first because I'm going to get so mad and I'm going to talk for like 20 minutes. You guys know if you're not new to my channel, I vent and I rant and then I'll be talking for 20 minutes about this. So let me, um, cause I know it's all over YouTube, it's all over the news, um, and all that kind of stuff. School custodian is behind bars right now, facing some pretty vile accusations. Police say the employee documented himself violating children's food and the surroundings. Action News reporter Catherine Scott live in Upper Deerfield Township with the details. Well, at least the ones that we can share on television, Catherine. Yeah, these are really disturbing allegations, guys, and uh, parents here are so upset at the Elizabeth F. Moore School here in Cumberland County. Uh, we've been speaking to parents this morning. They're frustrated. They say it's been days and they've barely heard any specifics from the school district. Authorities are working to determine exactly when these incidents occurred. The Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office today announced that on Tuesday, 25-year-old Giovanni and Pelizari of Vineland was arrested. The custodian at Elizabeth F. Moore School in Upper Deerfield Township, the school district 
uh, with the school district, charged with multiple counts, including aggravated assault, tampering with food products, endangering the welfare of a child. On Monday, investigators say state police was contacted by school authorities who'd received multiple anonymous tips about posts on a social media platform. They were screenshots and videos of Impalazari in a number of disturbing acts, according to investigators. Among them, authorities say he was performing sexual acts with inanimate objects at the school and tampering with food and utensils in the school cafeteria with bleach and bodily fluids, food that was intended for students and staff. And Palazari has been employed with the district since 2019. Parents here have been very frustrated. They say the messages they received from the school district were vague. They're concerned about the health and the safety of the kids. It makes him happy to do things like this, spraying, thing, spraying bleach on cucumbers, apparently, and saying that the more kids that he hurts, the better. That's scary for us. He's been here for two years. What happens if our kids are contaminated with that for two years and we don't know? Our kids are supposed to be safe here. I feel like I, I, I'm feeling as a parent because I can't protect my kid in school. According to the prosecutor's office, the school district is working with the Department of Health to ensure food prep, utensils and surfaces have been properly sanitized and any food products in question have been discarded. We're also collecting specimens to determine any potential for infectious disease transmission. Some of the parents I said they wish they'd close the school while this investigation is ongoing. We're live in Upper Deerfield Township. Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. Alicia. It is so disturbing, Catherine. Thank you so much. Okay, so there were some things I didn't know because this came out six days ago. And I don't know why the one parent was saying for two years because if, if he was employed in 2019, that'll be four years. Unless maybe he just worked at that school for two years. I don't know. But I did not know. So he was doing sex, sexual acts on things and then putting bleach on the cucumber. Oh, my gosh. Like if this was my kid, first of all, all the kids need to get blood work and get tested. You know, anytime they were sick, I would... The parents need to get together and do like a class action lawsuit and get all the money back, okay, that you paid, that if you had to pay out of pocket for school lunches, that's number one. Um, and the problem is the school wants to be hush-hush, and they're not telling the parents anything. And they, the parents didn't know till a week afterwards that this guy, uh, that this happened at the school, and I think, in my in my humbly opinion, I don't think the school's going to say anything. But it got out on the news and the gut, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So they had to. But I bet you, if it did not g get out on the news, like mainstream and all that stuff, they wouldn't have said anything. I guarantee you. I'm going to leave his, uh, some links and, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. If you want to check out the story yourself, but. How, oh. You know, like I said in my vlog, I, if I, if when my kids were that young, okay, back then how I was, so we're going 20 years ago, I would be arrested. I would get that guy beat up. I mean, I know he's in jail, but I, at that time I knew a lot of people that were in jail. I would have got him beat up or what have you. Like, it would not have been pretty. And, you know, I'm older now, so, but like... I still don't know how, if that was my grandkids or whatever. Like, I understand. If, but so he was like showing it on. That's how he got caught then. He was filming it and showing it on social media, Facebook and all that. Like who, like he wanted to get caught. Who does that? I'm going to have to look into his Facebook and see if it's still up or whatever the case may be. But, uh. We just have to be careful. We we do. And you know, the sad part is it's cheaper nowadays to buy the school lunches than it is to pack your own. And that's just the truth, you know. Um, or there are some people that are, are like on food stamps and different things and or don't make enough money and get free lunches. So it's cheaper to actually get the lunch at school, you know, and they can't afford to pack their lunch, especially if they have more than one or two kids. And so it's hard, but it's like, you can't even trust, like, what your kids are eating at the cafeteria. I mean, it's, 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 I was in high school when I went to Cumberland Regional, and there was this girl, if I can find a news article, because this happened in the 90s, so I don't even know if, you know, if the social, like, if they have anything like that, but the girl was actually, 
The parents were like five or ten minutes late from picking her up in track practice. And one of the janitors was cleaning up, you know, like he was supposed to, went to the ladies' room, and the girl was murdered. Killed. Um, they found her with a pencil in her neck and different things. Um, one of the, the guy, it was ex-boyfriend that got arrested, but some people said that it was, uh, the coach who did it. I don't know, but like, they were literally only like 15 minutes late and the guilt that they have, that they shared, if they were just on time, you know, because she was there for track practice, you know, it, it's like, and now look at all these school shootings and different things. Like, it's so scary. But to even have to worry about, are my kids eating healthy? I mean, they're putting bleach. He was putting bleach and stuff in the food, let alone his feces. And these are little kids. I mean, I don't think it should happen to older kids either. That's not what I'm saying. But, like, what do these kids do? Like, I, I can't even talk about it. I have to change the subject because especially that's my friend and this happened to his kids and then just the parents I don't even know I am so protective with kids like it I hope I never I personally never see that I don't want to call him a man I don't know what you want to say the guy I hope I never see him on the street that's the God's honest truth but it's sad so if your kids, I mean, now you got to worry about COVID and all that other stuff with kids. But if your kids get sick or whatever like that, get them tested. You never know what they're eating or what have you. Use this, even though I know I'm in Jersey and you might be all the way in California. Use this information that like things like this do happen and can happen. All right, I'm going to get off of that for right now because like I said, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to leave all the information in the description box. Check out the links. Um, but I do want to talk about also my last vlog. You know, I was very upset. I said I was heartbroken and stuff because I just got served with paperwork. And so I was actually on my way to go to, I, I was getting dressed on my way going to the mall to Bath and Body Works to smell different candles and stuff because it's either December 1st or the 3rd that they have, they're having this candle sale. And oh my goodness, how expensive candles are nowadays. Oh, I mean, uh, the candle I have right there, that's a three wick, wick from Bath and Body Works. It's like either 26, they range from 26 to like 20 to $32 for one candle. I remember when they were like $10 back then. But I've said this before when I was married, you know, my husband had allergies and all this. And so I couldn't have like fragrance. I couldn't even wear like perfume and smelly good lotions and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know what all these scents are now and the names. Everything's so different. So I wanted to go there and take you guys with me to smell the scents and all that stuff. So that way, when you know, I can order online or what have you. And it was just something fun to do. Or maybe I might see a candle that I like and buy one. I don't know. So that's what I was going to do. And then when I got served, I was like, nope, I can't do that because I'm learning something about me. Even though I know I'm 47, but late in life, I'm still learning. Like... When I'm in a bad mood, it's best that I don't go and do stuff because I'm very cranky, right? And so, and negative. And it's like, oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's gross. You know, so it's like I had to wait. So I just wanted to talk with you guys. And like, then I started to go on this like venting. <laughs> You guys, I'm an Aries, okay? I was born in April, April 6th to be exact. So I'm like very high strung, uh, short tempered, um, very sensitive. But I get over things very quickly, you know. Um, I don't really hold grudges. I mean, I can, but like, you know, uh, I do, I play hard, but inside I'm like a teddy bear, I can, especially if I care about you, you know. And I'm the type I just can't hold things in. when Because I suffer from depression, so when I do hold things in, like, I, I just get more depressed. So I'm learning to, like, talk. And, and because I really don't have friends. I don't. I have, like, uh, I have friends, but not, like, in-person friends. I don't have any. And that's just the truth. You know, it's embarrassing, but it's the truth. Um, I just don't trust people anymore. There's so many, I'm not saying everybody, but the people I came across are so two-faced or if you're I'm learning like if you're going through a lot they say it's toxic even though it's just like real life stuff or and they want to wash their hands or don't want to be bothered because they feel like you're going through too much stuff and maybe they're going through some stuff and they don't want to handle it or they don't know how to handle it because they haven't handled it already
if you're new you're like what the hell is she talking about you know like my like my mother and grandmother passed away nine months apart in 2019 my mom passed away on thanksgiving um and then earlier that year my, my grandmother died in february and so my mother and grandmother lived together for, since i was like 13 or 14 and so like my grandmother was my second mother so to lose two parents nine months apart that was pretty tough you know because it's all i really had as far as family a lot of my family disowned me or didn't want to speak to me because i had kids outside my race and it, it, that's just the truth um so I, I i wasn't in a good marriage so i didn't have him to really lean on and then i was suffering with my health um and then i suffer from depression so listen i i was a hot mess let's keep it real i really was i was tough to be around i didn't understand it then but i know now and I have friends, I especially my friend Jody and Lisa, my friend Jason, but especially Jody and Lisa that I talk to every day, they stood by me, right? I, I also was like going through that empty nest syndrome, even though my kids still live with me, but they're adults. They don't need me. My youngest is 19. My oldest is 28 now, right? And my, you know, Lexi's 23. So I was, I was dealing with like, you know, they don't need mom anymore, you know, and they're not home. And then when you're in a bad marriage and you feel like you're single, but you're really not legally and the kids aren't home, you just get more depressed, right? And, you know, when you're friends with people that kids are still young, um, that, you know, are still in school or still have their mother or what have you or have a big family, right? Because I only have one brother, but he was also one that washed his hands for me when I got pregnant early at 18. Um, they, they don't they don't really understand or if you have a husband that does things or if you have your heater break and they fix like, you know what I mean? They can't understand or maybe they don't want to, or maybe they think you're exaggerating. I don't know what it is, but I, I, I learned, like, there's not a lot of loyal people, or maybe they're not looking at their friendship like you're looking at it. Like, when you're my friend, we can have a fight, but okay, say what you got to say, and 20 minutes later, I'm like, all right, where do you want to go to eat? <laughs> if you're going through something, I don't care if I have to catch the bus. I'm going to go to you and see, you know, like, come on, let's get out. If I have a change, I don't have cat and money, but I have like a change thing, you know, I'm going to take it to the bank. If I have $30, come on, let's go out. Let, let, let's go to lunch or whatever. Let's do, you know, figure something out to get you out of the house or come on, come to my house or what have you. You know, that's who I am. If you got to call me at four in the morning, call me. I'm here to talk, but not everybody's like that. I don't understand when you're friends with somebody and you don't want to be their friend, then you have people that gang up with their man and, like, put it on social media. <laughs> like, what? You know, I, I say this, and I always say I'm not going to talk about it, but just in case you're new, like, I had a heart attack last year. And weeks, not even a month, weeks, just weeks after a heart attack. And I had a stent put in, so I had surgery. I was 99% blocked. I had people gang up on me, like maybe not really gang up at the time I thought it was, but they were upset with me. And I'm not saying they didn't have a right to be upset with me. That's not what I'm saying. But you put it on social media and, you know, when I'm trying to heal and it's like, isn't my health more important than stupid drama, like stupid stuff? I don't know. Uh, like they didn't tell me they were upset with me. I didn't understand what I did. It's just they all ganged up and I guess they were vetting about me for a couple of months that I didn't know. And, um, oh my God, there is a bug that just went on my thing. I think it's one of those stink, stink bugs or whatever. Move. Oh, it's not moving. Go. Oh. Okay, I'll deal with it after I get off. <laughs> that might be my son or that could be my mother to say. Yeah, I told you, Anne. My mom used to always tell me I was one of those ones, like... If I had money or whatever, I would, oh God, it's so embarrassing, but I was the type of person that I would say, come on, let's go out to eat, and I would pay for everybody just so I can get out of the house. It's like I bought people's friendships, even family members, like my aunts and them, come on, I'll pay, let's go out to eat, you know? If I, when I used to get my nails done, oh, come on, I'll get you and I'll pay for it. Come on. So that I can have to be around somebody. How sad. Oh gosh. When I say it, it's like, how sad is that? It's so sad. I don't even know how I got onto this subject. <laughs> See how I start venting? 
But, you know, um, I think why I still talk about it even a year later is because it hurt. It hurt me, you know, and I never got a public apology. I was accused of something that I did not do. And I would put my hand on the Bible on my mother's grave. Like, I am, t I did not know. I, somebody said I called CPS on them. Never. And this was an in-person friend. Never. She also did YouTube and stuff like that. Like, never. What I, The way that I am about kids? Are you kidding me? And I knew you and your... Like, never. Ever. She didn't come out and say, at least not publicly. I don't know what she said behind the scenes. But I had somebody else do it publicly. And, like, it was like... And I'm like, was, I'm still waiting for that apology. You know, like, maybe you might have thought it, but, uh, I, uh, you know, you can't say Anne did this. It, it, very weird. Um, so I was very hurt, and I think that's why I probably still bring it up. Um, but I don't. I don't have any in-person friends because I just don't trust people anymore. I'm, I don't want to get close to people. I'm scared to get close. See, this is the thing. I do, like, I want somebody where I can... Um, like go hiking with or go walking with that would be so nice i would love it but i i'm i'm just finding it hard because i have a trust issues you know i used to be the type of person if you knew me within the first half hour you knew how many people i slept with you like in other words you would know all my business because i was just that way because like i don't have anything to hide and i'm learning and i had this saying like i trust you until you do me wrong well now i'm learning like no you got to earn my trust before I start sharing personal details. Because what I'm learning is people tell, people talk. When they do things for you, they talk, they tell. They tell your secrets, they or they exaggerate, what have you. It, it's just very weird. And I'm not used to it. I wasn't brought up that way. Because anybody that was ever friends with me, they, I'm telling you right now, even if I had a, a, a beef with them or whatever, none of their secrets ever got out. None of them. Because I'm not going to do that. What you share is what you share. And if we don't speak again, I'm not ever, ever going to share it, you know. I don't even know why I start talking about this. I know I sound like a broken record, but I really do want to thank you guys for giving me a platform to allow me to talk about my feelings in real time. And sharing my thoughts and what I'm going through. Because like I said, I don't have any in-person friends. It's like, just get out and walk and talk. And I, I don't have that. So... I just can't thank you guys enough, and I just want to let you know if you did watch it, uh, I, I, I'm I'm, a, I'm in a lot better headspace. I filmed it the exact same day that I got served, so I was like, you know, in my feelings, but I'm okay. I I look at the comments like, my goodness, there's over 300 comments, and half of you guys have shared that you experienced the same thing in a relationship like that. Like it's 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 mind blowing. How many people have been treated the way we've been treated and like we still like want to make things work or what have you. And it's like, I just, it's, I, I wish everybody can find love and be loved, you know, and people that are in a marriage that are loved, uh, don't take it for granted. I don't know what my future holds, but I know I need to work on myself and I don't want to date and, um, I don't know, like I said, what the future holds, but we shall see. All right, but that's that. I, d I don't want to make this like a like a, a sad, because it's not. I just came on and I just want to share like, why do I share my feelings? But it, it helps me and I truly appreciate you guys. If I, if I could tell you every single day, I would tell you how much I appreciate you guys for just listening. Even if you don't agree with me, even if you think I'm sharing too much personal information, um, even if it went to the window now, even if like, but you still listen, you know, you click on my video, you're not judging me. I mean, maybe some do, but that's what I appreciate. That's all I want, you know? And when you guys share, I don't know why I do this. I don't know what to do with my hands. And when you share your stories, it makes me feel not alone. And I share this all the time. And I also share what I'm going through so you don't feel so alone. Because I'm sure there's a lot of us that don't have any friends. Like in-person friends. And when I say I don't have any friends, the reason why I specify on in-person friends because I do have friends like my friend Jody and Lisa that I talk to every day. Um, so, I, you, you know, but I mean like where we can actually call up and say, come on, let's go do this. You know, I don't have that. And there's so, there's so many of us that are like that. And um, you're not alone. You're not alone. There's nothing wrong with you. 
All right, guys, that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and show you my little vlog that I did from yesterday. And, um, yeah, so if you want to see me go shopping and stuff like that, then just keep on watching. Hi, guys. Anne here. And today, we have a little car block. So, <laughs> I'm in a much, much better mood than I was the last vlog when I had to do a little vent session um that's with when I got the paper my served with paperwork and stuff like that but anywho so let me tell you what happened I have absolutely no makeup on no eyebrow pencil nothing I do have a little lip gloss on let me tell you why I said okay I'm gonna get remember you, you know what happened with the car situation and all that kind of stuff so I don't have tint on the front windshield yet so I'm like all right well I have to go get my car inspect it I get up early, okay, because they open up at 8 a.m. And I'm like, well, there's always a line because everybody thinks like everybody, like, go there early, you know. I get up. I set my alarm for 6 a.m. Well, 6.07 to be exact, okay? I figure if I get there about 7.30 in the morning, you know, it won't be too much of a line. So I go there, I'm like, oh, I'm first in line. Oh, this is great. I'll just sit here and listen to music or what have you. I didn't want to like start vlogging and talking because I was cranky, you know, I'm not a morning person. So I'm like, you know, oh, this is great. I can go home, you know, whatever. Now it's like eight o'clock. I'm like, okay, when are they going to open? You know, I don't see anybody. We're going like 8.07, 8.10. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I was like, you know what? Let me look on the website. Maybe they open up later. They're closed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, I got up for nothing. But that's all right because I just have a few things I need to do. I need to go to ShopRite um, and just get, like, a few things. Um, so, yesterday was Tyler's birthday. And he, it, we had a... We spent a, uh, all day together, and then later on, he went out with a friend, and so he didn't eat dinner or anything at home. So, usually, you know, I make them whatever they want, or if they want pizza for dinner, whatever they want. Anywho, he was like, Mom, can you make me spaghetti? This is what he said this morning before he was going to work, and I was like, spaghetti? And he was like, yeah, I'm in the mood for spaghetti, you know, with your meatballs and stuff. And I'm like, all right, I can do that. I can do that. Um, so I have to just get that stuff and get his ice cream cake because we didn't have cake on his birthday. Today's the next day. Today's the 8th. Um, like I said, we were just busy and all that stuff and he didn't want it. So we're going to do it today. So he always wants ice cream cake ever since he was little. He's about five or six ice cream cake and like I would go to like there's this place in Vineland the next town over called Outlaws and they got like that's where I get Lexi's cake and Isaiah's cake but no he likes the regular Carvel that you get at ShopRite or any grocery store and that's what he likes and I'm like I ain't gonna complain he was like mom I'm 28 now I cannot believe I have a son who is 28 years old I remember like when I was aging and different things, like when I turned 18, 21, 25, 30. And I remember like on my 40th birthday, my mom was, I was like, I can't believe it. And she was like, well, I know I feel old. And I, you know, I get it now. Cause like, I'm like, oh my God, I, my son is almost 30. You know? Oh gosh. Like, I, I think it's like, I see a lot of these like, uh, YouTubers, right? That they're like beefing and in this drama and all this other kind of stuff, these commentary channels. And I look at it like I could be their mother. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Oh, jeez. And he's a boy, too. Boys, um, they, 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 you know, I don't know. Girls are different than boys, I think. He's like, uh, I mean, he didn't care unless he'd be a cake or anything, you know. But I'm a mom and I'm like, no, I want to have cake and, you know, because we never know how short life is I mean I you know so I want to make sure I celebrate every birthday and stuff because you just never know when it's the last you know so I just have to get stuff um for that his cake um and then a 
have to go to PetSmart and get crickets. Lexi's been working double, so what she's been doing is going in, she works 3 to 11, that's her normal shift, and then she's been working overnight and not getting done till 7 in the morning. So she's going at 3 in the afternoon and then getting done at 7 in the morning. So she's been working 16 hour shifts. Um, and so I told her, I was like, well, I gotta go out anyway. So, uh, cause you know, I thought I would do with the inspection. I was like, I'll just go get the crickets, go ahead and go lay down and stuff. So it is, I'm looking right now, it is 54 out. Yesterday was almost 70. It was a beautiful day. It was cloudy, but it was beautiful. Like it wasn't cold, I should say. Today's only going up to 59. It's so weird, the differences. And then tomorrow's going to be like 70 again. And then go back. Then it's going to stay in the 50s. Very, very weird. Okay. Let me go in here real quick and get a few things. And I'll be right out. I'll be back. Okay. So, I spent $84.75. So, we'll just say $85. And this is all that I got. Let me show you. I know I complain about prices all the time, but it's like, my goodness, they, they just keep going up. This is all that I got. Let me show you for uh, almost $100. Look, that is it. That's it. So I did get this. This is for the kids. They love this. I got his um, cake, of course. Two packs of chicken, two packs of ground beef, bananas, I got this, which I add my own seasoning and all that other kind of stuff. I got this and my bagels. That is it. Almost a hundred bucks. What in the world? Of course, I forgot a bag, so let's see. I'm pretty sure I have bags in the car. Uh, yep. What the heck is this? A toolbox. Who put a toolbox in my... All right, let me uh, bag this up and I'll be right back. So the chicken that I got that you've seen, that's for the dogs. Um, I make that in the Instapot, which the next time I make the homemade dog food, I, I'm definitely going to film it because I got it down packed now. I know what I'm doing. Um, that way I could tell you guys, you know, how I do it and the right amount and all that type of stuff. Okay, so the only thing that I have to do now is go to PetSmart. Then I'm going to go home, get in the shower, because I have to film. I want to do a coffee talk and um, film a few videos for the beauty channel. And then I'll be cooking spaghetti and making the homemade meatballs. And I have everything else at home. I just needed to get the ground beef and um, the spaghetti things. And then the sauce. I do not make homemade sauce, okay? I do not. I do. I, I, I guess I could if I wanted to, but I just don't have the patience, you know? Um, but I add my own seasonings, and I um, add, like, green peppers and onion. You know, I add, I add things to it, you know, of course. I guess, I don't know. I don't even know how many crickets to get. I usually just get 10. And then Lexi's like, I think she's going to be sleeping, so I'm going to have to do it. She was like, Mommy. If you put the crickets in the cage, make sure you take, Gucci is the lizard, you have to take his water bowl and everything out because the crickets will drink it and eat it, eat his food or whatever it is. I don't know what she's talking about. And I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do? Just dump the crickets in? And she's like, yeah, just dump all of them in. I'll eat all of them. I mean, I guess I could just dump them in. It's just, I don't want to go. I'm scared of the lizard. I don't want to go in. I have to re... Oh, gosh. It's going to pop his head out. We're going to do it. I'm going to see if I can try to film it. I don't know. Are they open? Because I know it's early. Yeah, I think they're open. Ooh. Okay. All right. Let's go in here and get these daggone crickets. And I'll be right back. Are you ready? There they are. In there somewhere. Yeah. They're alive. They're just, I don't know what they're doing. There they are. 
All right, so if you've seen the crickets, I was going to go home and put the crickets in Lexi's lizard thing. And Lexi was home. She did it. That's why I didn't film anything. Thank goodness. Oh, I was so excited. I was like, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because I'm scared of it. But anyway, please like this video. It really does help me out. Make sure you leave a comment, even if it's just an engagement. It would mean the absolute world to me and to Nala, a.k.a. Nala Poo Poo. She pays me no mind unless I have food or treats or want to go on a walk. That's the only time. All right, guys, stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.